I'm Chef Jess and we're back here in the vegan gastronomy kitchen making savoury crepes. And because it is spring right now, we are doing a spring chicken crepes with some beautiful mushrooms and asparagus with the bechamel sauce. So what really inspired me to create this dish was exactly this time last year, I was in Paris, France, one of my favorite cities in the world. And I really wanted to incorporate something which was French with this products that we are using today. So we are using some egg replacer products called Panaseg in addition to some chicken strips from Nestle to create this very fancy spring dish. So there's a few components to this dish. As I mentioned, they are crepes. And one of the things that I wanted to share with you guys is you can enjoy crepes not only sweet, but savory. So I will admit I'm not a big sweet pancake or crepe fan, but I absolutely love it. And you can use them in so many versatile ways. So the, the components of this recipe today is going to be the crepes. And then we're stuffing it with, with our vegan chicken. And we are using the Garden Gourmet variety in the Mediterranean seasoning. Um, because it is spring right now when we're filming this video, we've got some beautiful asparagus spears, something that you do see a lot in French cooking. In addition to some mushrooms, which we've just sauteed up with some green onions. Now, it wouldn't be a French dish without a mother sauce. So we are using a mother sauce here today called bechamel. You may have heard of it before used in lasagna. Well, it's actually French. So I wanted to share that with you today. We're gonna to incorporate everything together and then bake this in the oven for a delicious, comforting spring dish. To start, we're gonna be making our crepes. So you need to do this about 20 to 30 minutes ahead of time, but you can actually make this the day ahead and just have it in the fridge. So, to start off with, I do have some all-purpose flour here with some salt. And then you're going to need some unsweetened plant milk. And I also have a little bit of oil in here as well. So crepes wouldn't be crepes without eggs. So we, of course, we're not using real eggs. We are using Panaseg, which is one of our whole egg replacers here at Vegan Gastronomy. Super versatile because it does replace the eight major functions of eggs and it just makes our job a lot easier in the vegan kitchen. So I'm gonna add that to my plant milk and oil and give this a bit of a blend. So now we have all our wet components mixed together. We're gonna slowly be adding it into our flour. Now we just wanna add a little bit at a time. We're gonna start off with kind of like a paste consistency. And this is really important because we don't want big lumps of flour in our batter. So just start off with that paste consistency and then slowly continue adding your plant milk and vegan egg mixture until everything's combined. Okay, so now our crepe batter is starting to hydrate in the fridge. We can start making our bechamel sauce, which is a French mother sauce. So traditionally bechamel is made with something called a roux. So basically all that is, is a combination of traditionally butter, we're using margarine today, and flour. We're gonna start cooking that in our saucepan here until our butter and flour becomes like a sandy consistency. So we're gonna get our butter in, melt that down, and then add our flour. Okay, so while our margarine is melting, we're gonna prepare our flavorful milk component. So I have some plant milk here. Make sure it is unsweetened and has no vanilla flavoring in it. Uh, we're also gonna be adding to that some nutritional yeast, which was going to bring a nice buttery, cheesy, savory note to our bechamel, in addition to some white pepper, very common in French cookery, and nutmeg, again, very common in French cookery. So just add that with to your plant milk, along with some, with a good pinch of salt. And I'm gonna blend this all together until it's nice and smooth. We're gonna add our flour to our butter now, or vegan butter or vegan margarine. And we wanna continue stirring this until it starts 
going kind of like a sandy consistency or the color is gonna change. So you're gonna get like these nice nutty notes. It starts cooking the starches in the flour and it really gives a beautiful flavor to our bechamel. So now you can see it's gone kind of like a sandy consistency. We're gonna start slowly adding our flavorful plant milk whilst whisking so we don't get any lumps and continue until it's all incorporated. So once your bechamel has come to a simmer, I can see some bubbles here. You wanna continue cooking it for about 30 to 60 seconds and then set it aside and put the lid on. So that's what I'm gonna do now. So our crepes have been resting for 20 minutes. I've just got myself here a nice big plate and a tea towel. So I'm just gonna pop half of this over my plate. So once we cook our crepes, we can pop them on there and kind of create like a nice stack. So I have a nice uh, big fry pan here. This one is actually four crepes, but you can just use any type of fry pan or skillet for this. And we wanted to start off with some vegetable oil or um, like a firm vegan butter. And then just rub that around. You wanna take off that excess. It does help also if you are using non-stick as well. So we're going to take our batter here. Always have a little bit of water or plant milk on the ready if you need to thin it out a little bit. So we're gonna take our pan, which is over a medium heat. We're gonna put our batter in the middle and move it around. Gonna give this a cook for a few minutes until the edges start to rise. So once you can see the edges starting to lift, can you see that? You know that it's ready to flip. So you can use one of these or you can be daring and use your hands and flip it over. Whoop. Mieux vaut ne penser rien que ne pas penser du tout. Rien c'est déjà, rien c'est déjà beaucoup. So all of our crepes have been done. Don't they look beautiful? So now what we're going to do is we're going to start assembling these savory crepes. So the first thing that you want to do is I do have some beautiful asparagus spears which are right in season now for spring. Now I haven't um, sauteed or pan fried them. We're just going to be cooking these directly in the oven inside. So you just want to grab a little bit of olive oil and I like to do this directly in the pan that we're roasting on. So you get it greased at the same time. Season with a little bit of salt and white pepper. Okay, so we're gonna pop that aside here. Use that oil to grease the pan. And I have a quarter sheet pan here. We are going to take our crepe and we're gonna start off with some of this mushroom mix. Mieux 
followed by our chicken strips. Now, of course, these are vegan chicken strips. And then we're gonna go in with our asparagus. I actually like it, um, it kind of coming out a little bit at the top, so you can have a couple coming up the top. And then we're gonna wrap this up. So it wouldn't be a French dish without some thyme. So we're gonna put a little bit extra thyme on our lovely savory crepes here, in addition to a little bit more pepper. And then we're gonna finish off with our bechamel, which has been sitting aside, just cooling down. But one of the unique things that we're doing is we're actually adding a little bit more of that panaceg, which was our whole egg replacer, which has already been prepared with some water to replace one egg. Now what this is going to do when this cooks in the oven, it's going to actually make our bechamel kind of set, make it nice and fluffy and very rich and flavorful. So into the oven, 175 degrees bake setting for 30 minutes. And then we're gonna switch the grill on to high just until we get it nice and golden on top. So we will see you later. So our dish has come out of the oven. Doesn't it look delicious? So what we're gonna do now is I'm using a special herb. This is completely optional. This is sumac, which is a common spice found here in Greece and also in Turkey. It has a little bit of spice to it but it also has some lemony notes to it. So it's absolutely delicious with our bechamel, our French mother sauce, and a little bit of parsley as well, just to finish off our dish, guys. So let's dig in. I'm gonna plate this up. that guys <laughs> mm. Mm. delicious so folks why don't you try this spring chicken <laughs> dish at home by garden gourmet because good things are possible see you next time